Welcome back guys, we're back again with another Minecraft tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to change your seed on your Minecraft world. Now this can be done the same on Bedrock and Java Edition, and it only takes a few simple steps, and you can get started on your favourite seed with Minecraft. So with that, let's get into it. So to get started, log into your Minecraft control panel, and from there what you're going to want to do is obviously find your seed first. If you're looking for a Bedrock seed, we do have a video that I've just got popping up now with the top 5 Bedrock seeds. However, we're going to be doing it in Java Edition um, for this video, just because we started on a default for Java edition. However, like I said, it works exactly the same way both ways. So to get started, of course, stop your server first. And uh, one thing to note is that if you have just bought your server, you have started on a world called World. Um, so what we want to do is load it up on a different world. Otherwise, you're going to be trying to put the same seed on an already generated world, which won't work. So we've stopped our server. And the next thing to do is come over to files. Um, from files come over to your configuration files now i'm going to presume that you already have your seed if not just google one uh, check our top five seeds you'll be able to find one easily and just make sure that it's for your version so don't look for you know 114 and before seeds if you're going for 116 um, i just try and search 116 seeds and above so with that we go to our server settings and if you scroll down a bit, you're going to see level seed. Um, it's not the generator settings, it's the level seed here. And all you've got to do is paste your seed in. So we got our seed here and this is the number for it. Now this should spawn us on some sort of mushroom island here. So with that, let's go ahead um, right to the bottom and save our settings. So now our settings are saved for that particular seed. Um, the only problem is, is that our world has already been generated. So what we want to do is just come over to world and we're just going to change it. So I'm going to change mine to world one. Uh, this means that this this will now uh, load up a brand new world and it will load it up on the seed that you've just put in the files. Once you have changed the world name, just come down and hit save. Now this is important because this will actually save it on that world. And if you don't hit save and you start your server back up again, um, it will just start on the original world that we had uh, that was called world. Right, it looks like our server is all loaded up. So let's go check that we've actually loaded into our correct seed now. So now we've sorted it out on the server side, let's head over to our multiplayer. Let's come down to the test server and just make sure that it is actually loaded up the correct seed. Excellent, and this is exactly what we we're looking for. So as easy as that, you've changed over your world seed, and now you can start surviving in your chosen world. However, before we end this tutorial, one thing that I would suggest is just deleting the old world. The last thing you want is your server files uh, growing larger and larger with worlds that you don't particularly need. So to do this is a very easy process. All you need to do is head over to your files and then go over to your FTP file access. Once logged in, you can simply just head down the list and you can find world or worlds. So the first one that we created was world because that's always the world that starts as default. So we don't need that one anymore because we're going with world one, which is the one that we just loaded up our new seed. Now, of course, if you do want to actually back up this world right here, you can take a copy um, and download it. And we have got a video, I'll have that popping up on the screen now. And that will show you exactly how to download a copy. However, we don't need it at all. We're happy with our uh, new world with world seed. So we're just going to check that and we're going to go to delete. Now this will delete all the world and all the world files as well. As you can see here, everything has been deleted from that particular world. Um, and now it won't be clogging up unnecessary space on your server file. So thanks again for watching guys. If you're looking for a server yourself, don't forget to check out Seekhost. They've got some awesome packages, great customer care. Um, and they're just very reliable. Lag on servers is extremely minimal. I've not experienced any myself on my servers. And of course, it comes with a DDoS protection, limited SSD, tech support, and they offer many versions of Minecraft. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on the next Minecraft tutorial. Bye-bye.